Enlargement using the Centre of Enlargement. Level 6, National Curriculum, Grade D, GCSE. OK, so enlarging a shape, you should be able to make a shape so many times bigger. So this shape, if I ask you just to make, enlarge this scale factor 2 or make it twice as big, you should be able to change all the sides so they're twice as big or make it twice as big. But when we use a centre of enlargement, so in this case the, this cross here is telling us that denoting the centre, it's very specific to where the triangle needs to be drawn. And uh, the way we do that is we, if we imagine the cent this centre, this cross here, being a light source and rays of light coming out from that centre through the shape, uh, through the corners of the shape. Whenever we do transformations, we only ever look to see where the corners go. Let me redraw the shape. Then we can see if this is going to be a scale factor two enlargement that this distance from the light source to the corner of the shape needs to be doubled to here to get our enlargement. So this is three squares across one square up. So if we double that by doing it again, three squares across one square up, this corner here is going to move to here. And similarly, if I look at this one, this is just one diagonal across, so one across, one up. If we double that distance from the centre of enlargement to here, that's where the other corner is going to go. And then this one here, this corner here, which is one across and three up, we need to do that again, one across, three up, it's actually going to move to here. And then we can redraw our shape by joining up the dots um, to make a new triangle. Um, oh, it's been lying. These lines have got um, arrows on, which doesn't really matter. Okay, so there's the new triangle, and this triangle is going to be twice as big. You can just check that. The base of this triangle is four. The base of this triangle is four, five, six, seven, eight. This was two high. This is now four high. And then so we've drawn a triangle that is twice as big, but specifically in the position denoted by this centre of enlargement. Now, if we move the centre of enlargement into a different position, there are, there are three possible places we could have it. We could have it outside the shape, and that projects the image away from the original. We have it, so if this was the centre of enlargement here, on the, actually on the shape, um, then if this is the centre of enlargement here, um, this point doesn't actually move. It stays in the same position because it's zero distance away from the centre, and when we're, when we're labelling points, if this was original B, the enlargement becomes B dash, so the original A, the enlargement is A dash, it's just in the same position, it doesn't move. Um, but this point here, B, which is two squares away, if we're going to do a scale factor two enlargement, is now going to be twice as far, which is going to be this B dash point. And then this point here, which is cross two up two, cross two up two would be here. Uh, so if that was C, this would be C dashed. And then if we have D here, one across three up, we double that one across three up, we get D dashed up there. And if this was E, this is three up, E dashed would be here. And then we would redraw our shape uh, by joining up those points. So if we joined up the points here to here, to here, to here, and then we'd have to go back to the beginning, which is A here. And up to here. Now again, we have a shape that's been enlarged. Scale factor two is twice as big. All the sides are twice as long as they were before. But this point here hasn't changed because that's on the centre of enlargement. Okay. The third possibility we can have is one where the centre of enlargement is inside the shape. So the rays of light are coming from inside the shape outwards. So let's draw on some lines. It's very helpful to draw on the construction lines on ones where it's not clearly where it's going. So you just draw a line through from the centre of enlargement through the point and then out in the direction that it needs to go. And then you can work out how far along that line it needs to be. So this one is is two across one down, two across one down, so that's that point there is the reflect the enlargement of that point. This point here is two across one down, two across one down, which is here. So that's double the distance, and this one's just up one, so double that would be up another one or two from the original. So these three points form our new enlarged shape. Okay, so
and there's our enlarged triangle and you'll see that it is just enlarged around the original triangle so we have one that sort of projects over to one way one where it makes it bigger but the corner stays the same and one where it makes it bigger all the way around okay i just want to finish with um, a couple of examples of things one where we have a proper enlargement and one where in this question oh, you need to find the center of enlargement which is um, it's not difficult to do but you just need to see how it's done so if you're asked to enlarge this shape scale factor 2 zero, 0 is the center so the center of enlargement is zero, 0 so that's oops so it's this point here zero, 0 and then we're going to enlarge it out from zero, 0 so we're going to come out through the points The, through the corners. So imagine this is a ray of light coming through from the from a light source, like a, a lamp or a torch or something, out past the shape. Where's that shape going to be reformed? Scale factor two. Um, we'll start with this point. It was one diagonal away, so now it needs to be two diagonals away. So one, two. This was one across two up, so we need to double that. One across two up. Now sometimes People get a little bit confused, they think you need to double it here, so make this one here, but that would actually be three times as big because the side, this distance here, needs to be doubled from there to that, from the center to that point. So this center to this point needs to be doubled from the center to that point. Um, and you would know it's wrong because um, you would end up with a bigger shape. It would be, th be three times as big, not two. So this one's one, uh, four cross one up, four cross one up. Now another thing is this counting of squares that I do. It's it's more accurate than looking at actually where the line has been drawn um, and measuring it, because because it's drawn on a square grid. Um, that's uh, a lot more accurate. Let's actually make that a bit wider. So here's our shape. We can always check it when we finish to make sure it's correct. Is it twice as big? Well, this side is twice as big. This side is twice as big, so our shape is twice as big. So that's a scale factor two. And then the last bit is to find out where the center is. Well, we need to, if we draw these lines on, they all point to the center. So if I take this point here and join it to that point there, and just keep on going as far as I can, and then do another point, so this point here, to this point here, keep on going, and then another point, this point here, to this point here, and keep on going. And it's quite clear that the center of enlargement is going to be at this point here. So there's our center of enlargement. It's there. Okay, so that's how we find a center of enlargement if we've got the object in the image. Okay, so that's enlargements. The, two, the, the main bit, though, is, is knowing how to draw on these lines and enlarge a shape. Two, so it's going to be twice as big. So this is one, two, three, four. So we've got to look for a point that is eight, that eight vertically. And the distance from the center is four across two up. So we need to double that to get four across two up, which is going to be from there and then down to there.